Hi guys, I am back at the Dubai Fountain and uh, today we're spending a day and again I came at like 6, uh, I came for the 6pm show and didn't come here for the daytime shows because today it was 43 degrees and the humidity made it feel apparently 49 so clearly no shows um, because last time we came and there were no shows it was only 40 degrees so I came for the 6pm show and I think I ran a bit late. Sorry for putting my hand on the camera. Let me to do that. I was checking the time. But anyways, um, if I sound like I'm panting, it's because I was basically sprinting most of the way. Because right now it is 5:57. So it's 5:57. So I'm making my way to the uh, restaurant to view from there. Because I'm not gonna make it to the railing in time. Okay, it was actually really windy during that show. Like, I didn't really feel the wind because it's so hot and the air quality is absolutely horrifying. Bro. The air quality is 
disgusting man like you can smell the sand in the air and most of it is also humidity uh, like right now the forecast said it should it, it's 38 degrees but the humidity makes it feel like 49 or something so like just say it's 49 degrees yep because like it only says that the humidity makes it feel 47 in like a tiny text below it so you know like everyone's gonna be like wow it's not even that hot and then you come here it's like almost 50 degrees anyways it was pretty windy the hypers blasted all over the lake if this wind keeps up the next show is definitely gonna be low power because i've had shows be low power in the same level wind this is like that for, this is like the highest wind level i've seen since february i've seen because i've i know it's been windy when i've not been here but that was a lot of wind right there so if the wind keep up i'm gonna check the forecast if it says it does then we might be getting low power so <clears throat> i'm gonna guess that this shows when be it or time to goodbye I'm trying to get an angle without this thing shaking Okay, we got it. Okay, that's good. So sandy, oh my god.
Bros Hero. All right, guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing a nozzles close up. Um, finally in the daytime because my other two have been in the nighttime, so you can't really actually see the nozzles that well. Um, and I would do it as the two. I would do it in the two daytime shows. So the thing is, they don't exist currently because of the hot weather. So this is the only chance I can do it. And I know I could have done it last show, but last show I went up there just in case it was a low power show. And anyway, 7 p.m. right now is nicer because it's also it's also daytime, but it's just a bit darker so that you can the lights are also on for the fountain. So it's probably gonna be a really nice close-up. I was gonna do a close-up, but this boat kept getting closer, so now I can't. Look, look, he keeps backing up. National Doma at this time which is absolutely beautiful man like so majestic at this time but anyways that's one of the reasons that I wish that the daytime shows are still here so I could do a close-up because the boats aren't running at the daytime 
perhaps on Idol Ada I could get at least one close up. But I don't know, on Idol Ada they do play some rare shows on daytime like Skyfall and the Lights of China which they did uh this Idol fit. Um but yeah that's why I decided not to do a close up with like that boat I mean it is his job but like like if I kept my camera there like on like that he, he would have kept backing his boat into it and then the shot would have been ruined and I was originally planning to do something like that um, I know right now it looks low quality but I had a more higher quality lens set up for that but yeah anyways the next show to 730 I'm gonna watch from that same restaurant because as you can see it is not fully dark yet so that means it's 7 30 show the sky is still gonna be a bit blue so it'll look good from that angle because you can see the whole lake i wasn't recording but i just passed under this entrance and it looks like there are quite a few people on the apple store balcony and i don't know when this will close but most of the time of the year um the apple store uh is closed at the evening so it's really surprising that it's open now so i'm gonna take the chance to actually go up there and a show if they don't close before the 7 30 p.m. show because it is 7 12 right now and it was open so let's hope they'll keep it open until 7 30 and if it is open then I'm gonna watch the 7 30 p.m. show from the Apple store instead so it looks like there's actually a queue to enter the balcony so like yeah, you can see people are leaving the queue, but anyways. Yeah, so you have to like wait for people to leave the balcony so you can enter. I mean, that's a good way of controlling the crowd, but like, there's not even that many people. But it is their balcony, so I guess I can't complain.
Alright, that was a short poetry. Someone came up and didn't see my tripod and like bash their elbow into it towards the end of the video, but I hope that didn't affect it much. So I'm gonna I noticed a broken oarsman on ring four. I'm I might do a close-up on that because that was an interesting broken one. Most of the broken ones they just get stuck, but this one was like lazily moving along with the other ones. This is the angle I have, so the broken oarsman is right there. So I guess I can do like Something like that, but the problem is, um, um, you know, the lights of the other side of the lake might affect the video, and that there's a swarm of mosquitoes right here. So a glitch just happened, and they played two LED shows back to back. Bro, whoever's up there, bro, they just did they play two shows back to back? The, the, I mean, the second one literally just cut off.
what the fuck? That was a new show, that was a new show. I don't know what that song was, but that was a new show. I, oh my God, the one show I decided to do a close up, it was that new show. Like no warning or anything. And uh, Burj Khalifa was a regular blue LED screen. What the heck? That was just a new show out of the blue. Um, it was really fast paced too. So it makes me think it might be an advertisement show, but still, what a rare catch, man. Like if this show is gonna continue performing throughout the rotation, like then I guess I was probably one of the first people or like this might be the first performance because like I have not seen anyone else talk about this before um uh this was the 8 p.m show 8 p.m show all right so I'm gonna come tomorrow at 8 p.m as well I don't care if it's Sunday I'm gonna come at 8 p.m as well to see if the show's there like another show's happening I forgot the show was gonna be early due to the prayer it's for the win I think or power.
All right, those power. It's a good thing I came out of the building earlier, or else I would have missed that show, or probably be late to it. Um. Yeah. Anyways. Um. So that was power. I just can't believe that show just came out of the blue. Also, I checked with like some of the workers that work here. All of them said that this is the first time that this show has played. So like, what are the chances to be here on like the first, like first performance of a show without any announcement or anything? That that's just a, and it appears that it's a Russian song, but it was so sped up and the show was like, I don't know how to say it. the main shooters like were so repetitive. I'm beginning to think that since there wasn't that much like diversity in the mini shooter chases and the oarsmen i guess there's a high chance that was an ad show um it's a russian song though um i forgot the name anyways i forgot my power I, I brought my power bank but since like the wire snapped i have to bring my own cable to connect it to my phone and i forgot the cable so now i have to go and buy a cable from apple and those are like 90 dirhams or 30 dollars all right um i just bought a charger uh so now i can actually charge my phone and the day that the buy found the video doesn't have to end early i i i know the show performed a new show performed at 8 p.m and i, I think that was an ad show uh because i don't know it was basically um I feel like it's as well. Not from the same angle again, come on. And the umbra here.
All right, that was Enter Omri, and I think I'm going to head towards Suko Bahar, but I want to go to Birch Park. Uh, I don't. I, I'm kind of stuck on this one. I think. I think I'm gonna go to Birch Park, and then I'm gonna go to Suko Bahar. So two two shows from Birch Park, probably one, or so right now it's. That was a 9 p.m. show, so maybe I can see 9.30 and 10 from Birch Park. Um, and then 10.30 and 11 from Suko Bahar. So, now I know the name of the song. It was like the Red Army song, like Kalinka Malinka, I think. I don't really, I'm not sure about the name. But, yeah, that's a very interesting show to play. I'm using the shoes Thriller or Mon Amour. Let me bring it a bit. Higher. Let's add Magnificent 7 to the list as well.
why do they keep doing that? This is the same LED show that they played right after the other one. That looks so cursed. It was on the blue LED screen and then the water things on the side came. What?
It is, yeah.
whoever is like controlling the Burj Khalifa screen is screwing up so bad today they turned on the stars and then they turned that off like what? what what does that mean I mean if they don't turn it back on then the next show won't have the blue LED screen or they'll have to turn it back on manually but I noticed there's a shield missing in ring 2 for the minis um, don't worry I'm not gonna do a close-up on just one shield um, just pointed that out um, anyways I'm gonna go and get some food for the first time today I haven't eaten anything they're definitely testing something because I just got scared shitless man <sighs> bro the speakers just suddenly played some like loud bass intro of a song like <sighs> oh my God. they're testing stuff there's no way they're actually like messing up the speakers on the Burj Khalifa screen today so much like first they played the a second LED show and then cut it off after a first LED show and then they played that same LED show after a fountain show like right after like instead of turning on the turning off the blue screen they accidentally turned on the same LED show and then now they turn on the stars but then they turned off the stars so it means if they don't turn it back on the next show will still have the black dark Burj Khalifa and the speakers aren't playing any music now because they just played some really loud intro to a song and when it's when they stopped it it stopped playing the normal music which may mean that the last show doesn't have music but there's a low chance of that because we've experienced them not playing music on the speakers and then the show does have music but oh oh the music's back i'm guessing this show is gonna be like a calm show like uh, the prayer or Baba Yetu. It's been a while since I've seen the prayer actually. Like, I feel like the Magnificent Seven and the prayer, they play a lot on Saturdays, but in the whole week, like, less. Like, they'll play once or twice a week, but most of the time it's on Saturdays. But, I don't know, I feel like the shows, like, a show like plays on, like, a back to back Saturday, like, three times. Like, one Saturday it'll play, the next Saturday it'll play. And then the Saturday after that, we'll play too. But then it'll like shift to like Sunday or Friday. I don't know how to explain it. Also, they made the lights on the side of Burj Khalifa brighter. They did that very recently. Oh, they're doing it right now.
so yeah that was a pretty pleasant and nice show to end the day with oh they're doing led testing up there for the outages there's two more outages actually but that was definitely one of the more interesting days out of the bike fountain i've done um oh they just brought the led on the other outage and the third one oh wait that's another outage up there i didn't see that there's another third one like somewhere up here uh oh yep there it is all right anyways yeah i've only seen ness and dorm up at that time of day three times before which is actually kind of a lot but you know my first time was in 2019 my second time was last year's edel fitch when i was on the boardwalk it's the third time where i actually got a good shot um and then yeah i guess we also had the new show which is very surprising like look like it's a very interesting choice of song but like the choreography is not the best you know the choreography is a bit repetitive the mini shooter chase i mean it wasn't really a chase in most parts like the mini shooter sequences like they look like the countdown to new year's eve like most of the time they were just all going up together same with the rings it definitely feels like an advertisement show it's, it's a very dramatic song to add but you know it gives me like the infinity ad vibes like some parts are intense i know the song itself cannot be compared at all to the infinity ad but like the theme of it like this version of that russia that russian song this is a very intense version uh well, it's a pretty interesting show it's been a it's been a bit since they've added more than one show in a year i think like i think like 2020 i don't remember what show they added in 2020 i know in 2020 they added welcome ramadan which plays in ramadan 2021 they added uh esmaha dubai and hello amarat 2022 is yeah and ayala um which i like the show but i i really don't like seeing it because you know you know what it does to my youtube videos it like it censors it blocks it completely and then i have to remove the music or i could now overlay the audio from one of my timeout market angles of Ya'anayela which actually has to YouTube's copyright stuff, I don't know but anyways, um, that was the day of my fountain and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one, bye before you guys click off and now I feel like that show wasn't an ad show because I found the exact version of the song so yeah, I think I don't think that new show is an ad show. I think it's probably gonna. I think it's probably a normal show. I don't know if it's gonna stay or not because the choreography is kind of iffy in some parts. Some parts, I mean, some parts are good. Some parts, you know, it could be better. Like the oarsman patterns are kind of repetitive, and you know they don't really feel that like complex and stuff. Like I know it doesn't really have to be complex to be good, but I don't know. It's not. <laughs> it's none of those. Um, anyways, yeah. Now I found the original version of the song i think it's called kalinka so yeah that's the song and maybe it's gonna be the new show for the vibe